Hey guys, so Lord here, back in with another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Street Sharks, I believe it is the 30th anniversary collection, Ripster, the Great White, brought to us by the fine folks over at Mattel, and truth be told, the vintage Street Sharks line is a line your boys always wanted to go back and pick up, but they're always beat to crap and expensive as all get out, I don't know what the deal with that line is i don't really see it as anything that special just another tmnt ripoff from the 90s just like biker mice from mars mighty ducks the whole nine yards even gargoyles to an extent my beloved gargoyles and mummies alive are ninja turtle ripoffs to an extent gargoyles a little bit uh, more involved than just being a tmnt ripoff but you know what i mean there's a lot of teams with supernatural or mutated or, you know, not human, humanoid characters that teamed up with a couple of humans to beat the crap out of some bad guys. And Street Sharks is one of those. Uh, almost a parody, in a sense. And uh, a parody created by the fine folks over at Mattel and whoever did the cartoon series. is a bit of a jab at Playmates and their success with TMNT. At least as far as I could tell, because uh, they even made fun of the fact that uh, the TMNT like pizza and uh, the Street Sharks don't like pizza, like at all. They like is that hot dogs and cheeseburgers. I know biker mice like the hot dogs, but I can't remember if Street Sharks was both or just one or the other. Either way, before we get too far ahead of ourselves with random tangents and whatnots, why don't we cut right to the chase, getting two meat and taters of this review and take a look see at all Ripster has to offer in terms of accessories, a big old plastic cage. I honestly could have done without this because I don't have space for like a bunch of these and it looks like each figure is going to come with one. So that's kind of a problem, but it is cool. It does open. It's got little hinges on the side. You can pop it apart and whatnot, but where am I going to put a bunch of these? I don't freaking know. There's a little hook there too, like a little fish hook. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, but again, kind of only need one. Taking a closer look at Ripster here. That's all you get. He does have holes in his hands for accessories, but he doesn't come with anything to hold, per se. Uh, one thing to note, these guys got the quote-unquote real shark skin on them. So they got this rubber overlay going on. Uh, mine actually had a little bit of uh, excess paint on the vein down here. Chipped that off with my nail. Didn't damage it or anything. No tears, no uh, paint chips or anything that drastic but i will say ripster is very veiny he's like bane vein as far as uh, his vein game goes that said a little gimmick they have because they have this rubber torso thing going on you push on their uh, is it dorsal fin and their jaws will open up Woo! as my finger slides up his butt and into his back hopefully not jabbing that rubber there but, uh, yeah, you could see that uh, you could stick your finger in the mouth just fine. But, um, yeah, I could have done without the rubber skin. I've seen some people tearing the uh, cheeks here, which the rubber is pretty thick here. Between the paint and just the thickness of it in general, I'm surprised people are doing that. I'd be more concerned about tearing the nose, maybe, because that's what's actually getting pulled on. But, either way... Uh, mine seems to be doing okay. Knock on wood, it stays that way. But as far as regular articulation goes, his shoulders can go out, back down, rotate all the way around. He does have single jointed elbows with rotation. Hinge swivel wrists. And then he actually has a uh, Motu style power punch in the waist. So he will spring forward to punch. Kind of wish he just had a spring loaded arm. But you can do it both ways. And as far as his hips go, he's got freaking drop down hips for whatever reason. So yeah, there you go. Fear. Um, know nothing about articulation but want literally every point possible to be articulated 
you will love those. Uh, you can kick forward and back. You can do the splits. He's got a knee swivel. Knee swivels are very tight on this guy. Single knee, and then he's got a hin uh, swivel in the boot with a hinge forward and back. But it's not like a rocker. And it mostly moves back. It doesn't really move forward. So, fairly limited. No peg holes either, so you can't even throw them on a stand. So, they're not perfect by any means, but I'm happy that there's a set of street sharks out there that I can afford. And I don't got to worry about them being all jacked up when I get them. But, uh, yeah, man, I like this figure. Uh, is it figure of the year potential? Maybe. Maybe. He'd be probably towards the bottom of that list, though, if I'm being honest. But uh, I do like Ripster. He was always my favorite because I'm a simp. I go for the great white. Always have. Great white or hammerhead. But uh, I guess we'll be talking more in depth about that one tomorrow. So with that being said, it's time now that we move right along and take a look at some size comparisons. First up, here is good old Ripster alongside his buddy Jab and their arch Nemesis, Nemesai, Nemesi, whatever. Slash, the narwhal. Again, not sure why they call him Slash. He's got a drill bit on his face. Getting them out of the way. And our two regulars. Mythic Legions, Brother Mandibalith. And the infamous... Mkuh, Living Spawn, who, as usual, towers over everyone, because while street sharks are quite chunky indeed, no match for good old Al Simmons here. So with that being said, it's time now that we wrap things up, some final thoughts. Overall, and aside from not being that big of a fan of the quote-unquote real shark skin that both Ripster and Jab, who we will be looking at tomorrow have i quite enjoy these new street sharks figures from the fine folks over at mattel they may not be perfect mind you but i think they are a really really solid representation of the beloved characters we all know and love from the original street sharks animated series and or toy line from the mid 90s so with that being said you guys enjoyed this review until next time i'll catch you guys later